Today we are going to discuss about the verification of KVL and verification of KCL. So here KVL shares that algebraic sum of the voltage is in a closed loop path is equal to zero. Otherwise, algebraic sum of the voltage rises is equal to the algebraic sum of the voltage drops in a closed circuit. Now here this is my closed circuit. Here I want to verify that the voltage rise across the supply is equal to the voltage drop across these three resistors. Now I am going to determine the voltage across 1 kilo, 2.2, 3.3 .2, by using mesh analysis. We can solve this problem by using Ohm's law or mesh analysis or by using a voltage division rule. We can apply any technique, but here I want to apply the mesh analysis. Okay. Now I am assuming the current direction for this is clockwise direction and the current flow into this loop is I. Now we need to write the loop equation. Now 10 is voltage rise, that is equal to algebra sum of the voltage drops. That is 1 into I plus 2.2 into I plus 3.3 .3 into I. Okay. Now from this, we can calculate the current value I as 1.53 milliamps. Okay. Now I want current to 1 kilo, current to 2.2, .2, current to 3.3. .3. Now for that applied Ohm's law, I is equal to our requirement is voltage. So determine the voltage. V is equal to I into R. Now voltage across 1 kilo is given by V is equal to I into resistance value is 1. Substitute this I value here. So 1.53 into 1, you will get 1.53. Similarly, 2.2, V is equal to I into R. I is 1.3 and resistance is 2.2. Now, if you calculate this value, we will get 3.366 volts. Similarly, at 3.3, V is equal to I into R. I value is 1.53, resistance value is 3.3. You will get 5.049. Now, we need to verify whether the sum of all these voltages is equal to this 10 volts or not. Why? Because according to our statement, voltage rise is equal to the voltage crops. Now here V is equal to voltage across 1 kilo, voltage across 2.2, .2, voltage across 3.3. .3. Now substitute all these values in this equation. Then you will get 10 is approximately is equal to 10. Hence the KVL is verified. Similarly, we can verify the KCL also. See here. Now in the case of KCL, sum of the currents entering AT node is equal to the sum of the currents away from the same node. Now here I am assuming that this is my node. I am assuming this is my node. Now, whereas this current is entering into VA and whereas current through R3, current through R2, both are away from the node. Okay. Now, sir, if current through R1 is entering into the node VA, then what is the equation by using Ohm's law? Current equation is given by I is equal to V by R. But here, the current is flowing from 10 volts to VA. If you observe here, the current is flowing like this, the current is flowing like this towards this node VA. Now that's why the voltage will become 10 minus VA by resistance value. Why? Because I is equal to V by R. Now here voltage value is given by 10 minus VA. 10 minus VA by resistance is 1 is equal to. Here these two are the voltage, <coughs> sorry, these two are the living currents. Entering current, this one is living currents, these two are. Okay. Now here, the current is flowing from VA to ground, VA to ground. So that's why it is VA minus zero. That will become VA by resistance value is 2.2. Similarly, the current is moving like this towards ground. Okay. Now here also VA minus zero. That means VA by resistance value is 3.3. If you calculate this value after doing LCM, you will get VA value as 5.68 volts. Okay. Now our requirement is current through 1 kilo. Current to 2.2, .2, current 3, 3.3. 3. Now, here, current to 1 kilo is given by I is equal to V by R. Now, V is given by 10 minus VA. 10 minus VA value is 5.68. By resistance value is 1. You will get 4.2 milliamps. Okay. Similarly, current to 2.2 is VA by resistance value 2.2. .2. Similarly, current to 3.3 is V by resistance value. Now, if you calculate all these values, you will get 2.58. And here, you will get 1.72. According to our statement, entering current, is equal to living grants. That means current through 1 kilo is equal to current through 2.2 .2 plus current through 3.3. .3. Now substitute all these values here. Then 4.3 is approximately is equal to 4.30. Hence the KCL is verified. Thank you.